availability of safe drinking water is an issue the world over, especially in developing countries. To get safe drinking water, majority of us install water purifiers at our home. There are n number of water purifiers available in the market. So when we go to the market to purchase a water purifier, the salesman pitches us a variety of water purifiers and each water purifier has its own selling point. Invariably, we settle to buy the one which is the more costlier option, thinking that the more pricey it is, the better it is going to be. Unfortunately, that is not true. What is a good water purifier for me may not be a good one for you. The water purifier installed at my home in Gurgaon is entirely different from the one installed at my parents' home in Patiala. So, we need to choose our water purifier. Before we decide what water purifier is best for us, we need to know certain things. The certain things are, we need to know the types of water purification methods available to us and something known as TDS. TDS is Total Dissolved Solids. So, the water purifier mechanisms available to us are number one, ultra filtration. So, ultra filtration has a membrane filter of size of 0 0.01 microns. It allows the water to flow through it by gravity and it sediments out the bigger particles such as sand, mud, and some bacteria also which are larger in size. Ultra filtration gives us water which is clean. It may not be safe. Why not safe? Because the bacteria and the viruses have passed out. The second mechanism is ultraviolet filtration. In the ultraviolet filtration, the water flows through the UV light. The UV light kills the bacteria as well as the viruses. So what we get is a water which is free of all germs. So it is water which is safe for drinking. It may not be clean. Why? Because ultraviolet filtration has done nothing to take care of the sediments, of the sand, of the mud or the total dissolved solids in the water. Next, we have something which is known as RO. RO is reverse osmosis and the last few years having an RO at your home has become a must. Now this must, is it really a must or it is more of a marketing? So what does RO do? RO was primarily discovered to get drinking water from the saline sea water. So where portable drinking water was not available. RO systems were installed to get water from the sea water and thus allow people to drink. Now what RO does is, RO uses a lot of electricity to push water against a filter. The size of the filter is 0 0.0001 microns. When the water is pushed against this filter, nothing goes across other than water. So what we get is a water which is free of all sediments, which is free of most of the germs, that is the bacteria and the viruses, and is also free of the total dissolved solids in the water, which makes the water pure drinking water. Now what is TDS? TDS is total dissolved solids. Total dissolved solids means particles which are dissolved within the water. These include ions, which includes the monovalent and the divalent ions such as potassium, magnesium, calcium. It includes nitrates, carbonates and even heavy metals such as arsenic, lead and the organic matter such as the dead bodies of the viruses and the bacteria. 
the higher the tds the more number of dissolved solids in the water when the tds becomes very high there is a good chance that there is a high quantity of heavy ions into the water which are damaging to your health so who defines the safe limit ideal limit of tds for water to be from 200 to 400 the bias norms of india define it up till 500 water which is from 500 to 900 is bad but not very bad but anything above 900 is very hard water and has high tds and is unacceptable to drinking why unacceptable to drinking but there is a possibility that this water has heavy metal ions into it whenever we are drinking water it is important that its tds should be somewhere between 200 to 500 only ro water gives you tds of only around 15 to 25 if this tds is less that means all the total dissolved solids have been taken out of it when you drink this water this water has no minerals in it so it is a demineralized water when this demineralized water is drunk the body does not get any calcium magnesium or anything else in this water and this water now leaches calcium as well as magnesium out of your body so it causes a deficiency of calcium magnesium so we are not looking at getting calcium and magnesium from this water what we are more worried about is that this water is making us lose the calcium and magnesium from our body now this loss of calcium and magnesium can obviously cause the deficiencies and their side effects which include osteoporosis weak bones osteomalacia muscle cramps insulin insensitivity so a lot happens because of the deficiency of calcium and magnesium these effects shall not be visible in the immediate they are going to happen over a sustained period so we may see the side effects after continuous years and years of usage of ro water so we need to make sure that the water we get to drink is clean it is free of germs so it is safe and it also has a tds of 200 to 400 ideally maybe even till 500 so the three criteria which have to be fulfilled when we choose a water purifier is no sediments no germs and a tds of 200 to 400 now to select this first and foremost we need to know what is the tds of the water supply which we have at our home if you are getting a municipal water supply then the likelihood is that your water tds is around 250 to 300 which is a good tds to have whereas if you are getting underground water or water from a bore well then there is a possibility that your tds is going to be pretty high maybe the water is not acceptable to drink so before you go to select a water purifier you need to know the tds of your water for this you need to buy a tds meter a tds meter which costs only around 300 rupees go and buy it check the tds of your water if the tds is less than 400 or less than 500 then we will have a different water filter if the tds is high then we will have a different water filter so if you have a municipal water supply and the tds is 200 to 500 what you need is just a ultra filtration and a uv filtration ultra filtration will take care of the larger sediments the mud and the dust which may happen from contamination on and off and also from the pipes in addition there is always a possibility that there are some germs in this water so we need to make the water safe so you should have a uv filter so tds of 200 to 400 what you need is just uf and uv now if your water tds is more than 500 but less than 900 ideally this tds has to be brought down so up till now what has been done for water which has a tds of more than 500 that a ro system has been installed but an ro system will be an overkill for this now we have something in between 
a ultrafiltration and RO system that is nano filtration. Nano filter allows some ions to pass through it. The some ions to pass through it are the calcium and the magnesium. So this water has a TDS of almost 200 to 300, a nano filtered water. It is not a high TDS, it is not a low TDS, it is a water which is good for drinking. So when your TDS of water at home is 500 to 900 or let's say 400 to 900, then you should install what is a UV filter and a nano filter. If your TDS of the water is more than 900, then what you need to install is a RO filter because then it will take out everything out of the water, make the water safe as far as heavy ions are concerned. So there is no lead, there is no arsenic. However, the problem with this RO water now is that its TDS is very low. So it will leach out calcium and magnesium from your body. So ideally, this water should now pass through a mineral bed. When your water has a TDS of greater than 900, then you need to buy a UV filter, a RO filter and a remineralization bed in your water purifier. So what you need is UV, RO and a remineralization bed. So we have decided what is needed for us. Now the problem arises, a lot of us have already installed RO systems at our home. We never checked our TDS. So we are getting water whose TDS now is only 2025. So there is something known as TDS adjuster. TDS adjuster allows to fix the TDS of the water. But how does a TDS adjuster work? A TDS adjuster is nothing but a bypass, basically combining RO water and unpurified water. So if your water supply already has a TDS of 250 and you do the TDS adjuster fixation also at 250, your RO will actually not be doing anything. The whole water will be coming directly without passing through the RO filter. So people who have a RO at their home and who are using a TDS adjuster, there is a high potential that the water they are getting is not passing or a large amount of water is not passing through the RO filter. and the water which they are getting may not be safe for drinking. It may be having bacteria as well as viruses. If we have UV filter post RO, then whatever unpurified water we were getting, that also is taken care of. And more importantly, the water which is coming through the RO, which may have had some bacteria and viruses growing into the membrane, that also gets cleaned up. What more you can do is you can also add this RO filtered water into a earthen clay pot. A earthen clay pot means a matka. But the problem over here is water seeps into the pores of the earthen clay pot and stays over there. And this moisture may allow the algae and the bacteria to grow into the earthen clay pot. So if you are using an earthen clay pot, you have to make sure that you scrub and clean it every day and also dry it every day before using. If you are not drying it, the pores are not getting dried up and hence the bacteria as well as the algae keep on growing over there. Lastly, we have nowadays something which is known as alkaline water. It is something which is being sold very aggressively in the market with a lot of touted benefits such as it is anti-aging, reduces the acidity in the body, it keeps your skin shining. All these health benefits of alkaline water are not true. There is no scientific data to suggest that alkaline water helps us in any way. In fact, I have had recently two patients where it was becoming very difficult to treat their urinary tract infection. And when after repeated infections, we saw that their urine pH was actually more than nine. Now this high pH of urine, anything which is more than eight, it makes the treatment of such patients very difficult and the organisms become resistant. After detailed history taking, I elicited this alkaline urine is happening because of use of alkaline water purifier. The alkaline water purifier is making the water alkaline by ionization. 
now this water when it goes into the stomach the stomach will balance out because it has to maintain its acidity so ultimately the alkaline water which we are taking the body clears it out through the urine making the urine alkaline normally a urine has a ph of only 5 to 6 but now this patients had a ph of more than 9 and they were getting recurrent infections because of that so limited experience but yes Alkaline water surely does not help you in any way. It may or may not have any negative effects. In conclusion, if we have a municipal water supply, check it TDS and use a UV plus UF water purifier. If we have an underground water or a borewell water supply, just check its TDS, TDS of 500 to 900, then use a nano filtration and a UV filtration and if the TDS is more than 900, then use a RO filter, a UV filter and a remineralization bed. Thank you.